Here we have a hypothesis test sigma unknown for one population. In this case, we're going to have to identify the correct hypothesis statement, so we need to read our um, the background here at the top carefully and see what that is that is being sought here. The average U.S. Country Club initiation fee was 33757 in 2004. A recent random sample of nine clubs showed an average of $35,091.56 with a sample standard deviation of $3,877.34. Can you conclude that initiation fees have increased over 2004? Okay, so... The key thing here, well, there's several things we'll look at here, but the one that I'll call out is have, have the initiation fees increased, right? If we just said if they were, are they different than in 2004, um, it could be higher or lower, and that would be a two-tail test. But in this case, we've got a one-tail test, and our null is going to be uh, that nothing has changed, right? So that would be something like this statement here, this first one that it's less than or equal to 33,757, okay? And, uh, and then the null is going to be the opposite of that, right, which would be also this first one right here, so that it has, has increased, or that would be the, if, if it falls in the rejection area, right, it's going to be an upper tail test. If our results fall into the rejection area, then we will reject that, the null, and say uh, initiation fees have increased. Uh, since 2004. Okay, so uh, now we know that it's an upper tail test again looking at the at which way the um, uh, greater than less than sign is pointing in the alternative uh, hypothesis statement. We've got a one tail upper tail test and uh, another thing that I'll call out here is that here it said we were given a sample standard deviation right not a sigma so we know it's a student's t uh, we, and uh, I guess we know that here from the title here and that I've got this equation here as well. But if that weren't there, you would know because you had a sample standard deviation or S to deal with and not sigma. Um, all right. What is the critical value for this test? All right. So let's look here. We've got an alpha of 0.05. We have a upper tail, one tail test. Alpha of 05 is right here. And our degrees of freedom, we sampled 9 uh, degrees of freedom then is 8. So our critical value then is 1.8595 right here. So T of alpha uh, T of alpha equals 1.8595 Okay, what is the decision rule then if the test stat greater than 1.8595 reject the null, otherwise do not reject. Okay, so basically, right, what we're just putting into, into words here, uh, if our value that we calculate using this formula falls into the rejection area here, we will reject the null and say there is enough evidence based on our sample to conclude that uh, initiation fees have increased. Okay, t value for our sample now is going to be t equals um, X bar was uh, from our sample was 35.091.56 minus 33.757 over S was 38.77.34 and then our sample was nine, uh, 9 N was 9 so when we calculate that um, our T value then for our sample is 1.0326. Okay, so that's T for our test sample. Our critical value was 1.8595, so we would uh, we would not reject. Right? We didn't fall into this uh, rejection area up here of the, uh, and so since we're less than that. We would not reject that. We say we cannot claim that initiation fees have increased. Only if, we had, if it had fallen into the rejection area would we make that claim.